Hi, and welcome back to the Turking Scribe. It's Hester. I am working on a top tag swap. I'll get it right in a minute. Um, we have to make two. So, I went, I'm not a good drawer. I went online and I found these. Make sure I'm in screen. Homemade gifts made easy. I'm going to link the printable to the, um, down below. You can get it in this size, the four. You can get two to a page or one to a page. And they were free. So, <clears throat> what I did was I printed, actually printed out these on an eight by eight and a half by 11 piece of paper or cardstock, and I cut them out. Well, I'm trying to figure out how I can um, decorate them. And I <laughs> wound up cutting my sock apart at the little lines that it shows. Because I did this one first. And I'm gluing and then I'm trying to trim around it. And this is cardstock, so it was a, a little bit different. This one here, I cut out the, the sock basic template like this. I just traced around it. And I took book page and made my little cutouts. So I thought I would show you how I did that because this was a first for me. So I'm just using a book page. This one actually tears very easily. I like it. So what I did was, and this took a few tries of figuring out, I took and used that template like a ruler and I'm pulling the paper against the the template. I want to reinforce it. <laughs> so it's kind of wonky, but you know I ink it up and I'm gonna use this one. So you can go back and you can um You can even it up if you want. You don't have to. And what happened with this one, the reason it's turned around the other way compared to this is because what I did when I cut this one out, I traced this one like this. So then when it came out, it was <laughs> the other way around. So here is this part. We got it on. And I'm just going to do the same thing with this other piece. Um, it did seem a little easier to get a little book page started. And then just trim around it. Like I said, it's definitely not perfect. I'm trying to decide how I'm going to decorate them. Let's see. Right. Up. And that's how this all started to start with. I was trying to figure out how to decorate my socks. So then this one, I use this piece. That way it's going left and right. And you can be right up against the edge. This one is kind of got some little marks right there, but I've just been kind of going around. Like that. And I'm inking mine. I like to ink them, so... 
they don't take long to to do them this way. It took me longer to try and cut out the cardstock. So, I mean, I could go and trim this out a little bit because I cut a little too short, but I may leave that one like that and then just ink it up a little bit. Or I could take and put some lace right there. I have a box full of scrap material that I've been playing with. Um, I took my pink and shears and I cut it. And so I've been using them for this. I'll have to show you how I use those for that, but let me see. Over here, I could use, I don't know about that blue going with that. Uh, I got a pink. What about the pink? Maybe. That would cover that up. And give my sock a little bit of a trim at that. So I could do that. Might do it. Let's see. I have fabric tape, but I don't know where it's at right now. So I'm just going to use this and probably cry later because it didn't stay. You can sew this on and then put my sewing machine up for today. So I may wind up sewing it before I send it out. So that looks pretty good. Let's see. So I can trim over here. I would like some more bling on it though. Let's see if I can find that. Because that just runs off all the time. Here I came thinking I was prepared, but I didn't bring all my stuff over here. But what about that? Like a Christmas stocking. I guess I wanted to find my. There it is. This is my little um, Dollar Tree bottle because the lid came off or the it broke off on the Paper Tech bo bottle. And surprisingly, this has been working very well. Just make sure you close it. So let's see if I can get this somewhere. I may have to trim that down too. I don't think I got enough glue. So I'll trim that one in just a minute when it dries. Um, this one, did I finish inking it? I don't think I did. I'm going to put this little bit of lace on it and see how that looks. This is white lace though. Do I have any? I do. I've got all kinds of lace in here. Just have to figure out which one. So I could put some lace there, or I could put it up here. That might look better. I'll do that. What do you think? I like that. Trim it off. I'm not a very good trimmer. I need some new scissors. So, I've already got book 
page on there. Um, trying to decide what I want to decorate this one with and this one. I don't want that. I want some scraps of paper. Maybe. Let's see what I got. I have a few little clusters that I don't like. They look, I don't like them. I've got some vellum. You know, these may wind up being close to what they are. Not seeing a whole lot that I would want to put on them yet. Okay. What do you put on a sock? It's a good question, huh? You know, I didn't think about all this when I was getting ready. I've got stickers. I have some of these. I think they're going to be too big. But you know what? I could have used that right there. And then still put one there. I'm going to keep that one out. I've got tickets. I don't think tickets are going to go with that too well. Um, I have some cutouts, but they're lacy. Don't really go with that. Butterflies. Those are going to be too big. Yeah. I could put it at the top. Butterfly up there. Maybe. I don't know about that color. Well, that color looks okay. That's good. I got. Ooh. I don't have anything really small. I've got some. Itty bitty tags that could go probably on one or two. I don't really like them either. So I have these die cuts. Do they look all right on there? I don't know. I'm liking the butterfly right now. So I think I am going to put this butterfly on this one that I don't know where my purple ink is. Found that. It's one of my favorites and I hadn't added out in a while. Let's put some ink on here. I'm going to try not to have this too long of a video. I do think that one would look good right there. Put a little bling on her. I want to just glue her down to the top right here, right in there. And oh, no, there's my bling. I always put a little dot of glue. I like putting these on the butterflies. 
these have glue on them on this like add a little extra to it that looks pretty good I have to put me a tag in there to make it a tag this one I could do I don't know if I like these flowers, but let's see what I got. Oh, I've got some words. I don't quite they might come up if I had something behind it, maybe. Definitely really not that. It's too dark. Maybe not too dark, but the wrong color. If I did like that, just don't see that. I don't know if that's going to show up or not. I do have those, same thing, you can't really see them. I have a butterfly, butterfly might be right over there. No, I'm mumbling. I'm sorry. I'm trying to talk louder. Well, what do you think about that? Let me try it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave it on there. I'll put some little ones around the bottom. Put one there. One here. Let's just throw a blue one over here. So well, I still lack a lot in the decorating department here. I think that these are coming out very nicely. Go ahead and do I need to trim that on that side? I'll take one of those off. So now I just punched some holes in. in some grommets and they will be ready to to go. Do I want to do big grommets? I think I do. Oh, do I want to go through the butterfly? I know what I don't know what I'm gonna do. I guess I'll go through the butterfly's wing. I am learning if I put stuff back where it's supposed to, where I think it's supposed to go that I can find stuff, but that's not always the case. Look at that. There's my grommets. Hard to believe. Do a few of them out. I think I'm going to do the tan one here. Let's see, I can't remember. I think that's the right one. Let's see. Yep, turned out pretty good. I would like a purple one and pink. I don't think I have purple. Maybe the pink one will look good in here. Like I said, I'm not sure if I'm putting my grommets in the right place or not. But we gotta do a blue in here. Do I want a darker blue? You know, maybe just 
Tech Power Play. Took me forever to learn how to use a grommet in this thing because you had to have them have it set just right. And every time I do go back and use it, I'm having to look. So the big one, that was the 3 sixteenths, is on four. Oh, I can't see that. Four something. Whatever that one is, I can't read it. I'm sorry. So, how am I gonna put my girl, put my um tags on? You know, I could use some of this for the pink one. For this one, Let's see if I was to make it smaller. This is the hard part with this. My hands do not like. But I love the way it does it. Small cutting. Or it gives that serrated edge. It gives it more like a decorative edge. See my hands? I've been inking and... Um, I mean, I want to say they're not dirty, but they are. You know, I think I'm going to just cut that right there for now. So you don't have to watch me struggle. I have this little, um, I don't even remember where I got it from, <laughs> but it works good for poking this ribbon and stuff through these little holes for some reason. I say that, but this ain't going through. There it goes. So, do I want a long one? No, I'll put that in the wrong one. I'm it in this one. But there's still that question, do I want it long or do I want it just short? trim that one off. Do you know what you can do with these little pieces like this? What I was doing with some of the other ones is you can just uh, glue them on like they are um, little patchwork that needs that you're working on your sock. Make sure you turn it the right way though. I'm going to cut a couple more off because I like more than one. I put one up here. Look at y'all. This is what I do when I. That's the one problem I do find with my glue is it will go. It just bubbles out in that bottle. Well. Go ahead and stick one right there too. Look at that. I don't know if it's just the air. Must be. Because if I close it, it will. It usually does alright. So let me see while I got this out and making a mess. Um. Kind of like this one for that, maybe. 
and then the other one is purple. And I do have some tulip pink in here, and here's one of hers, the deer. Probably would actually a little piece of that wouldn't look too bad on there, would it? They have that one's not long enough. There's some more tulip pink. That black might go with that. What do you think? Too much black. Oh, we're going to do that one, aren't we? Okay. Let's see if I can't cut this because I know y'all getting ready to go and I'm getting ready too. I did want to show you all of them decorated. I may have to speed it up a little bit because I'll not much on these long videos. I'm going to put that right there. So, I think I'm going to put this one over here. See what it looks like. It might go with the pink. And then I'm going to do a purple for other one. So I love quilting. I do a lot of, used to do a lot of quilting. So I have a lot of scraps running around. And let's see if I can get that through there. Can't talk and pull at the same time. It's not too bad, I don't know. I'm gonna find the purple one real quick. Mm. I don't have it. I know I had some long purple ones. There's one, I think that might work though. Those might. Let's see, will these all the same size? Yeah. Let me see if I can get it in there. So I'm gonna figure out how to get it to where the yarn, the fabric looks good on the top. But in case you're um, doing the sock tag, I'm going to go ahead and post this tonight because today we're supposed to be, um, we got our we got our partners, so I just don't know which one I'm going to send yet to my partner. I know two of them and I may make some more because I have another um, friend that I like, so I'm going to send her something, so get all my mess out of the way so y'all can see, yep, so I got this one that's nice and you can see it's, you can, you can do the the back like this or it's um to where you can journal on the back if you want but those turned out pretty good so thank you for stopping by and checking out my sock tag um paper stockings i don't know what i'm gonna call it <laughs> but as always, thank you for coming, and please subscribe if you've not already, and if you want to know more about me, you can check my website at www.thetruckingscribe.com. I can't remember is what I'm going to say, um, 
And I also have an Etsy shop that I've got a few things up, so you can check that out too. It's under the Truck and Scribe as well. Thank you and have a good night.